Okay, so the other day I picked up this Carlsberg Pilsner glass, which I think looks really nice. It only cost me a pound as well, which I think is just great. A lot of a lot of these glasses, um, they're usually really cheap in supermarkets for some reason. Even though to me, they look really nice and they do seem to be of uh, nice quality. And uh, today I picked up these cans of uh, Carlsberg Pilsner. I'm not really sure if I have had Carlsberg Pilsner before. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what Pilsner means. I don't really know what difference it makes to a to a lager. Um, but interestingly, these are, are like connected together in a new way. So usually with cans of lager, they'd be connected with that like plastic thing that you have to pull off. Um, but these, they're connected differently. So uh, let's take a look at the glass first, and we'll look at how these are connected to each other, and I'll, uh, I'll review one of these as well. So here is the glass. So you can see the glass there, some Carlsberg in it. The new Carlsberg Danish Pilsner glass. And there it says, probably the best beer in the world. We've got some very small writing there. It says, in working the brewery, we should be in constant pursuit of better beer so that the brewery may always set standards and assist in keeping beer brewing at a high and honourable level. There's some more writing as well. Here it says, rebrewed from head to hop, new brew, new taste, new glass, still iconically Danish. So let's open this. See, so yeah, when I saw this in the shop, I thought, great, another nice looking beer glass to add to my collection. So here is the glass itself. So I'll show you the writing on this when I've poured some beer into it because you'll be able to see it more easily. Um, but before I do pour some beer into this, I'm actually going to show you the base of this because I've, I've got a tip it. So um, yeah, it's interestingly it's a really thick base and it's actually got writing on it as well. So it says probably the best beer in the world. And it's just the same there as well. And you've got like the Carlsberg logo there. And there too. Alright, so let's take a look at these cans. So, <clears throat> so it's new snap pack there. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. So there it says remove handle. I guess this is the handle. So I guess you can pick them up with this. Um, Split cans into two rows, then snap cans apart. And it says open here, and it says the same thing there as well. So let's do that. Okay, so remove handle, so I guess I do that by peeling this up where it says open here. See, I've never seen this before. Um, split cans into two rows. Whoops. So let's do that. You can see, actually let's zoom in first. You can kind of see that bonded together there. Kind of looks like some a big glob of glue there. So let's split them into two rows. How do I do this? Wow, these are really stuck together. Oh wait, actually. Even though I found an easier way then of uh, pulling them apart, they were still really stuck together. I've had these in the freezer for a while to really chill the drink down, so maybe that has had something to do with it, because like this sticky stuff like, because it's been in the freezer, maybe maybe that's made the sticky stuff kind of more harder 
and so therefore more difficult to uh, to pull up the uh, the cans apart. If you know what I mean. All right, so let's take a look at the cans. So these are pretty big cans, really tall and thin. By appointment to the Royal Danish Court, 1847 onwards, one pint. And I'm guessing this glass will hold one pint. And you've got more writing down there. I'm not going to read everything out. 3.8% um, volume. Let's open this. So to be honest, I mean... <clears throat> Like the new way of these cans being stuck together, if they are that that difficult to take apart, like even if they've not been put into the freezer, it doesn't really seem like a better way of uh, keeping the cans together than the older way, where you've got like that plastic around the cans that you can just easily, very easily take off. So let's pour this into the glass. Okay, so you can see that the writing is a lot more visible now that I've got beer in the glass. So it's got like a, a crown or whatever there, and it says by appointment to the Royal Danish Court, Carlsberg Danish Pilsner 1847 onwards. Uh, let, let's see if there's anything on the back of it. And it's got someone's signature there as well. So, yeah, let's see what this tastes like. It's not too bad, really. Um, seems to have more taste than most other lagers. Um, I think it's kind of reminding me of Holston pills a bit. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's just it's like an an, av an everyday lager, just with a bit more flavour, really. So as lagers go, it's not really anything that special, but it's it's still quite nice. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, I think I'll give this a... I uh, don't know whether to give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10. I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's uh, not bad at all. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.